What's going on guys, Bearded Red here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are taking a look at some uh, bushcraft slash camping slash survival gear that I recently picked up. Uh, so if you guys have been watching the last few videos I posted out have been sort of bushcraft, camping, survival related. Uh, and it's something I'm wanting to get more into, some skills I'm wanting to learn, hopefully bring you guys along. Hopefully some of you guys find it interesting out there. Uh, I think it's pretty cool, but this is the first round of gear that I've bought. So this is gonna be all soft goods. I got it all from Sportsman's Guide. They have a lot of really cool military surplus stuff. Um, this isn't a sponsorship or anything unless somebody from Sportsman's Guide out there wants to. I'd love to hear it. Um, but anyway, so I went on there, looked for some stuff because I wanted a pack and some other items just to kind of round out my bushcraft gear. So let's get into it. The first thing is this mess kit. Uh, this is just in an olive drab looking canvas kind of bag, which I like the canvas stuff just because a lot of bushcraft guys uh, run canvas and leather and stuff. And it's just, it's old school. It's classic. It's very cool. So I wanted to go with military surplus one because it's cheap. You can find it. And two, I just love the military surplus stuff. So I believe this is, which I'll throw it um, a screenshot of what it is, a Serbian military or something like that mess kit. Uh, so it comes in this nice little pouch. It does come with silverware. So I thought that was super cool. It comes with a knife, comes with a fork, comes with a spoon, and all of it is held together with the knife. So the knife has this little sleeve here that's got also got a can opener on it, if you guys can see that. Um, so that's cool. comes with full utensils, which is sweet, and they're metal utensils. And they got a little pouch in there that they sit in, they ride in. So this is uh, plastic and aluminum. Got this nice little handle here. Got a big bowl or cup. And a small little bowl or cup. Then you have a uh, one quart plastic canteen, which is really nice. Uh, it's just a plastic canteen. Uh, I've already checked inside of it. There's nothing cool and interesting, and it's pretty clean inside, but obviously I'm going to clean it out. I did end up breaking my little tab, as you guys can see that when I was playing with it earlier. It's old. I mean, this stuff is like 70s, 80s uh, this, for this particular kit, so it's fairly old. Uh, but it's still in great condition. The canteen's not cracked or anything. It's just injected and molded. Like I said, this is aluminum, so you can cook in this. Uh, and I intend to. You guys will see that on the channel. So that's nice that you get that. You can boil water in it, whatever. And I like that it all fits together. Like a giant Lego set. So that's pretty cool. Uh, so the next thing I bought was candles. Not really anything special about these. They're just candles. Uh, some of the projects I'm wanting to do with canvas and waterproofing canvas and stuff like that, I've seen guys use uh, the wax. So it's good to have one for light, two for fire starting, and three for other projects I'm going to do. Uh, the next thing. So these are super cool. Um, they were really cheap. They came in a two-pack. If I can find the other one. Totally not a necessity. Totally not something that is really practical. Uh, but these are Norwegian uh, military surplus flashlights. Um, like I said, they came in a two-pack. They were, looked super cool. I love this old stuff. They're... Metal bodies, they, they look aluminum, uh, aluminum bodies, halogen lights, which they do work. They have momentaries and they have constants. Um, they have little filters too. You can change the light from red to green. So I'll do red and green. If you can see red and green. Uh, so that's kind of cool. I've tested these at night uh, with the lights out and they're, it's not bright. <laughs> I mean, they're a halogen bulb, a little tiny halogen bulb. But um, they do work. I do plan on putting them in my bushcraft kit. It, it's a little bit of light. It does what I need it to do. And if I'm inside the shelter or something like that, it's going to help. That and they just look super cool. Uh, so this is more of just a, a neat purchase. But they do work. And they take D batteries. So that's nice. Not some weird, uncommon thing. Uh, but Norwegian uh, military surplus flashlights. The next we have canteens. So these are Romanian uh, military canteens, I believe from 60s, 70s, somewhere around there. Those of you who are out there who are super military, you know, gear minded will probably tell, tell me that I'm wrong, uh, but I think that's when they're from. They're super cool. This one looks issued, as you guys can see, it's kind of rough uh, and I love it. They're in these cloth um, holders and this one is in better shape. They do come with metal cups. That's what these are. And these are also one quart canteens. They are aluminum canteens. So if you need to boil water or something like that in there, you can. 
which that's one of the reasons I liked them is because they were metal. You can boil water, uh, which is important. Leather straps, you know, they just look awesome. They look cool. They look very classic bushcraft-esque uh, survival, you know, fallout kind of stuff. So uh, one quart Romanian military canteens, super cool. Uh, the next thing we have. So this is a Romanian military bread bag slash satchel. I think they call it a bread bag. Again, I'll roll up pictures for all this kind of stuff um, while I'm talking about it. But this is just a sling bag, a satchel, a purse, whatever you want to call it. So my current camping slash bushcraft bag, which if you guys follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen it in the pictures, the background, stuff like that. It is a old canvas bag like this, a lot smaller though. And I wanted a bag like this in case I want to do like light, like a day trip, like me and the boys go out or something like that. Uh, and we just want like a day camping trip. I'm not going to spend the night, nothing like that. Uh, so that's the reason I wanted the bag. I can cram my gear in it, it's, but have plenty of room for, you know, my canteens, my flashlights, food, water, uh, tools, stuff like that. Um, it's a big bag. I mean, for a shoulder bag, it's a pretty good size bag, I think. So, I mean, it's pretty good size inside. It's got one big compartment here and then a medium sized compartment there. These are old school, like I said, 60s, 70s. These, there's no molly on these. It's awesome. The stitching on the leather is phenomenal. There's the reinforced stitching of the leather. Great craftsmanship on it. It's got uh, tra straps to secure all kinds of stuff. Um, you can secure a bedroll with this, you know, canteens with this, axes, whatever. Uh, a lot of capability. The strap is very thick, very thick stitching, um, pretty rugged. I mean, it, it looks used, it looks warm, but there's no tears in it, nothing like that. I'm excited to use this, so that's more of like a day trip bag, or I might bring it in conjunction uh, to my next bag, uh, just for extra gear if I'm doing an extended stay or something. So, Romanian bread bag slash sling bag. I have uh, extra Romanian leather straps to secure extra gear if I need it. So I got those. And then, The big guy. So this is a Romanian rucksack, is what they call it, backpack, whatever. Um, I This is what got me into all this junk, to be honest with you. So I've been looking at a good bushcraft bag, and I love the canvas. I love the leather that these guys are using out there. And I didn't want a cheap bag from LL Beam, because that seems to be canvas is popular, I guess, with the hipsters or whatever. So it's either that or a really expensive, like three to $500 canvas backpack that is like bushcraft specific. Um, I'm not gonna spend that on a bag, uh, especially right now when I'm first getting into it. So I did a lot of digging around. Sportsman's Guide had this cool thing. It's a fairly big bag. It's got all kinds of straps on it. So it's got a strap here, these two straps on the side to secure gear, this strap to secure gear, this strap, this strap. I mean, it's got straps all over the place. Uh, it also has this little pocket right here. Just a little outside pocket, put a water bottle in. Uh, I think it's it's actually meant specifically for something. Those of you out here who know this gear and why it was made or what it was made for could leave in the comment section what that's for. I can't remember what exactly that's for. It's specifically meant for something. Um, but you got this open section. You can stick an ax in or something if you want, which is cool. Uh, I love this bag. It's reinforced in the corners with leather on all four corners. So that's super cool. It's got the little drawstring here just to tighten the bag up. And the inside is just one big compartment. It's There's no molly inside. There's no straps or anything inside. I don't know if you guys can pick that up on camera very well. Um, but it's just one big empty pouch. Uh, but it's very big. It's a very big bag. I mean, you guys can see. You can kind of kind of see. I mean, it's, it's a pretty big bag. Um, again, I can throw a bedroll on this. Food, some extra clothes. You know, all the gear that I'm going to need for a one to two day trip into the woods, I can do that with this. And that's the goal. I'm not doing long excursions or anything like that, especially with this kit. And I just, I love the look of the canvas. It's real thick canvas, real good leather. The leather's nice and worn. Looks awesome. It smells like a military surplus store in here. I love that. It, it It's just awesome. So that's, that's my gear. This is going to be my baseline gear for bushcrafting moving forward. 
I'm still working on knives and stuff like that. Like I got a couple of handmade knives here in front of me um, that I'm going to be testing out and stuff like that. I just, I just got a bunch of kit that I'm going to be testing out for you guys. I'm really excited about this. I hope that you guys like the survival stuff. This is just the first unboxing video of my initial kit. Uh, there'll be more to come, and then we'll actually start testing this stuff. So like my Amazon kit, which you guys have seen, I'll be testing this soon. Work's been kind of busy, and the weather has been ridiculously hot here in Tennessee. So we're working on that. If you guys have any questions about this, let me know. I'm going to leave links to it all in the description below. Uh, so if you guys want to go pick this up for yourself, I would highly recommend it. So the gear that I got is all in great shape, minus the one piece that broke earlier. But again, it's old plastic. Uh, highly recommend it. Sportsman's guy, go check them out, guys. Um, links to other stuff in the description below from Amazon and other places. So thanks so much, guys, for watching the video. Thanks for liking, subscribing. We still have the 2,000 subscriber giveaway coming up. So when we hit that, we'll get that. Uh, but guys, let me know if there's anything else you want to see, any of the gear you want me to test, anything like that. I'll be glad to look into it and see if I can get it. Other than that, guys, stay strapped, and I'll see you at the range.